check out some of these products here. Well, good products. On a care spray, that's pretty good. I already have a uh, video out on that, and that's pretty good stuff. Clean inside your wheel wells, you can spray it down, shines it up. It lasts a decent amount of time, too. Um, yeah, it looks better if you clean it with a brush and then the tire shine. Works pretty good. This nozzle on this bottle stinks. Um, I think about putting this in like a, a different sprayer, but it works decent. I don't think I'm going to use it today on the truck. So I think I'll, I want to try this. Come up, guys. VRP. That's what it is, not T. Um, Adams, I believe, is the T. So we're going to apply this on all the black trim around the truck. Uh, may put it on the tires too. Yeah, let's put it on the tires, see how long it lasts because the truck's driven every day. So, haven't used this product yet, so let's try it out. Shine up uh, the trim, uh, clean it up a little bit. Since it makes it look factory new condition, water based, interior too, but I don't know. Well, it says it's not a greasy, wet look. So, it shines to vinyl, rubber, and plastic trim. You can try it out. Let's try it out. And then, like I said before, on my other video with the Corvette, here's what these foam blocks you can get. So you can leave them separated. If this is for plastic or tires. Here's some I cut up. I have another block. I just cut it up. And that's to get, you know, some of the hard areas where you don't want to get it on your paint and stuff like that. So, all right, let's try this stuff out. See, I got uh, that sealing off just in time. And I'm losing my shade now. Yeah, around noon I lose my shade in this area. And then it comes back. I think about 637 so and then same thing inside about inside the yard you got certain times where you can you'll get shade we can get some of this stuff done we'll apply this product we'll try it out first time using it on this trim it's nice you're making these small you can uh, apply it I'm gonna let it flash I'm not gonna wipe it off let it flash and kind of see how it looks but hopefully you can see that sounds pretty good looks like you don't need to put a lot on here a little bit at a time Let's see if you guys can see Let's see the results right there yeah, that's where these foam things come in great because you can get in here Not really get it on that paint See how long it lasts. I gotta check the weather and see uh, When it's gonna rain again probably soon the way it rains every dang day around here We got a good camera angle kind of hard So let's try this remember I buy all my products I uh, Yep, got to pay for it myself to try, try them out. Plus, we use them a lot, so and that helps. Plus, we like testing out different products. One thing to make, you know, make these videos show everybody else if they work, don't work. At least that, so you can save money. It would be nice to be sponsored and get um, some free product to test out. Now you're gonna get it on your windows. You can just wipe it off later. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Looks pretty good, huh? From before, right here, and then there. Yeah, it looks nice. Now, the big question is how long does it last? All right, let's take it. So, it looks like with the product before, after. Not bad. Cleans it up. The last couple weeks would be great. Who's getting hot off? See that? You can use little pads and can really get in those hard to reach areas. Man, this truck's not even that old. This plastic's already faded. 2016. Like how it work. Nasty stuff gets out of it.
And what I'm gonna have to do is pop the hood so I can get inside here, make that shiny. I'll come back later and clean the glass. The sun's out, so I'll wait to the shade. Or I'll do it real quick. So I might put another coat on this after it flashes, because it's so dirty. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna this trim. About to do this twice. It's pretty dry. Let it flash and do it twice. Get the truck or car looking good. Can even do all this stuff, shine it up. These foam pads come in handy. There's your difference. Let it flash a little bit, 20 minutes or so, and you can uh, throw another coat on. Looks pretty good. Before after shining it. Dropping stuff. Get that to work it in there. Depends on the tires. I need to rotate my tires. Yeah, I think I'd rather use a spray than to do this. Sprays a lot faster. What do you think? Let's use this stuff for the trim. But we'll try it out. Have to move the vehicle up a little bit so you can get the part that you can't get the top. That's not too bad putting on with the pad. Once you get it worked in there, do all the vehicles and move the vehicle, pull them, move the truck so I can get under here. and then wipe off excess not that you get on the wheels you need to put a wax on the wheels that's it all right let me do the other ones okay everybody truck's done with the jess car now i put two i got two coats on it all right i did do one last night and you guys are probably laughing it being the beginning and i did put that first coat on there last night in, in the dark, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes, you know, you gotta do it. And then what I did is I put a second coat on this morning, so I made sure I, I didn't miss any coverage. So, two coats of that, that sealant on there. And then I might put a coat of wax on there, it might not. So I put two coats in that. My goal was to put the, the Colonite 845 on there, um, but well, since I got the two coats of sealant on there, probably won't do it. Right now, I'm pretty happy with the way the truck came out. Can it come out better? Yes. If I had spent more time on it and really get into it, I think the truck would could have came out a lot better than what I than what it did. So sometimes you're pressed by time. You know, when you only got one day off and you got other things to do. You guys know how it goes. So those are the things that done with a the truck. Okay, then we, then we tried out uh, VRP from Chemical Guys on the black trim. You should see it. 
and then I also put it on the tires check out the tires with the foam pad it's pretty good it kind of tears your foam pad up a little bit you know they came out pretty decent and then but me personally I would just I would better off using the spray that's what I think but that's me you know some guys might may like to the uh to use the trim on that but to me I would use a, a tire spray turtle wax right here tire foam is pretty good you can pick at that up at Myers usually they have that on sale you get like buy one and get the other one the half off so that's a good deal on those I'd rather use a spray and I'd yet rather use the the VRP chemical guys on the trim or Adams we're gonna see which one lasts longer uh, we'll see how this stuff lasts and then next time I wash the truck I'll apply the Adams on there but here's the results like I said some of the chrome I could have did a little bit better job but overall, I'm happy with it. But this is, you know, when you um, want to make your vehicle look good in a short, short of time, this is it. Um, that's what these videos are for. It's not for, you know, paint correction. It's just trying to get your vehicle clean with the time you have and with products that work. Or get the products, a different product, a regular wax. But, yeah, pretty happy with it. So what do you guys think? Not bad, huh? So... I still gonna do a video on it clean the interior and may do one on cleaning the engine because it's filthy um, a couple of vid videos on that and some other stuff so we'll see how this just car lasts two coats just car one from last night and one from this morning I'm telling you these dogs don't stop barking thanks for watching appreciate it um, don't forget to hit the bell and the like button and subscribe if you're not and yeah thanks for the support it means a lot so it's done for now until i do the interior you guys have a great day later my next project yard stuff like always you gotta walk to your truck looking good look at it, it looks good you did all right oh yeah nobody parked next